Young and Trending is brought to you by the Bahamas Adventist Book and Nutrition Center, located on Tony Quilliam Starling Highway. Hey there, and welcome to Young and Trending here on Word, SBC 88.3 FM, where we aim to be bold, be true, and be heard. I'm Pastor Nasa. And I'm Tyler. And today we have some, oh man, we have some special guests in the building, <laughs> all the way from Jamaica. Yes. Uh, we we got to let them introduce themselves for our audience. Please, introduce yourself. Sure, my name is Donnie Linton. And I proudly serve Northern Caribbean University mm. as Assistant Director for Recruitment and Admissions. And I'm excited to be here. Mm. Mm. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> so my name is Charles Evans. Um, I, I, I'm a recruiting officer and I also work with the international students. And mm. today I feel young. <laughs> young and <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to our show, Young Thank and you. Trending. Thank you. Today our title for our show is uh, Where Learning Never Ends. Mm -hmm. All right. Where mm -hmm. Learning Never Ends. You know, I, 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 I went to a place uh, that they had the slogan where learning never ends. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I must say. There, there was... There, it, the, the students used to make a little twist and joke on it. They say, but earning never ends, right? <laughs> but but the, your earning potential never ends. Okay. Once you've attended, you go. We'll go with that. Uh, yeah, that's right. right. We'll go with that, man. <laughs> right. So uh, we're talking about NCU, Northern Caribbean University in Mandeville, mm -hmm. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And these fine gentlemen, along with their uh, other compatriots who, are, who have joined them, have come all the way here to the Bahamas just to talk about Christian education mm -hmm. yeah, and the benefits of you know going down that route and so mm -hmm. we want to just spend some time and educate our audience our mm -hmm. listeners those who are viewing to the merits of christian education mm -hmm. but before we get into you know some of the nuts and bolts of that tell us a little bit of your story like how did you get into i mean you could, you could have been doing anything i could have <laughs> yeah. literally yeah. you could have been doing yeah. anything but you're here in a, a christian yeah uh, mm -hmm. school like, yes. how did you get into that in the first place? Well, first of all, um, after I went through my tertiary studies, mm -hmm. I was actually working at a law firm. So I was doing <laughs> law office management. <laughs> but this, this Mali law. I yes, <laughs> I did, believe it or not. But I have always been um, in the Adventist Youth Ministry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I really, really fell in love with youth ministry and working with young people mm -hmm. and cultivating potential. Mm -hmm. And so when the opportunity came to serve specifically in this office, mm -hmm. I jumped at it because I knew that I would be involved in just helping young people to mm -hmm. fulfill their potential. And that's, yes. that's such a rewarding experience. And it continues to be rewarding mm -hmm. even today. So this is your passion. It, yeah. it really is. Mm -hmm. It really nice. is. Yes, wow. yes it, hey, is. it is. It wow. is. I'm loving it. Okay, yeah. Mr. Evans, how, how, what about you? What was your story like? Well, my story is um, I've worked at, well, those days it was West Indus College. Mm -hmm. I've been there a long time. Mm -hmm. I, I was <laughs> there when it changed to Northern Could Have Been That's University. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, um, and it, 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 it's, it's a natural thing. Okay. Because my story is that I started in, in you know, as a cabinet maker, went to the printry, then really? I went to yeah, then I went to college. Um, after graduation, I, I just continued working there. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like I am moving in a certain mm. direction. Mm -hmm. But because of my Christianity, um, because I believe in God and the restoration of man to God, mm. um, I consider this a ministry. Mm. Um, That's good. Mm -hmm. it, for me, it's not about money because if I make money, I'm going to die and leave it anyway. Mercy. Yeah. Mercy. So, so I want to do something that will last forever. Mm. Yes. So being at Northern Caribbean University is, is, is yeah, mm. it's mission. Mission. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. it's wow. Mission. Yeah. It's mission. It wow. You know, and that's, that's pretty heavy, you know, because uh, we, live in a, we live in a society that's so... Um, wrapped up on the pursuit of happiness, mm -hmm. where happiness equal um, equals money, mm -hmm. you know, equals yeah. status, yeah. Mm -hmm. and 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 that sense of mission is something I feel is is, is being left behind yeah. mm -hmm. in many people's minds because you know the va you can't put a price you can't. on you that. Can't satisfying feeling of mm -hmm. fulfillment yeah. knowing that you're doing your part yeah. to help carry something bigger than you forward mm -hmm. and so that's that's mm -hmm. that's so amazing 
Um, I, I went to NCU and man, can I tell you, I tell us. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. It was quite a, it was, it was quite it was quite a story, quite a story. Um, and I'm I'm not gonna ask you, maybe you have any stories as well, but mm -hmm. I, I found myself at NCU. Mm. Yeah. I found myself. Yeah. Okay. Like I, I came to NCU and I didn't know who I was. I thought I knew. Mm -hmm. I thought I was on the path to make I thought I was gonna be the next uh, the next and first black Bill Gates, you mm -hmm. know, I was studying right. computer so, yeah. information science. Wow. I was like, yep, this is me. Wow. Yep. Wow. I'm going to be the one that they, they're going to be buying my computer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, you know, in NCU's environment and, mm -hmm. and the spiritual components that I was surrounded with every day, it reinforced uh, my spiritual upbringing. Mm -hmm. And together they, they smacked me in the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, and I found that there's something bigger than me. Oh, yeah. There's something more important than then money is important, right? Mm -hmm. But there's something bigger than just chasing money. Right, right. Right, purpose yeah. Yes. Yes. and mission. Yeah. And and I found myself, you know, and my wife was going to test. I found myself being face-to-face -face with reality, and I had to make a decision where mm -hmm. I wanted to do something that gave, gave me real fulfillment. Right. Mm. Right. And that's how I got into ministry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was at NCU, yeah. Yeah. you know, when it happened, when, yeah. when I was able to reevaluate everything. Mm -hmm. And so um, to hear you guys, you know, share that story and perhaps for our listeners out there, you may be thinking that there's something important to you and big and meaningful, but there is something bigger than just the pursuit of money. You mm -hmm. know, there, yeah. there is purpose. There mm -hmm. is there is a real value in having a mission. And mm -hmm. so um, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So I guess that brought up um, what I was going to ask next. Um, so t in today's society where, you know, we're starting to value now exposure to different mm -hmm. things and, you know, going off to see the world, um, what would you say then, because he brought up a lot of good points, mm -hmm. but further that, um, is, are the pros to Christian education or specifically for Adventist, for Adventist mm -hmm. education? Yeah. Right. You know, it's it's so easy for me to make reference to the book Education by Sister White mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. in that book it outlines the definition for what education really is. Okay, mm -hmm. a lot of people will think education and think, okay, a bachelor's, a master's, and a doctoral degree, and that's it. Right. But true education is so much more than that. Mm. It really, really develops you as a whole person. Mm -hmm. right, right. How you present yourself, the confidence that you have in yourself, mm -hmm. that's how, big. how you relate to other people. Right. Um, it builds skills. your social mm -hmm. skills, your mm -hmm. soft skills as well. Mm -hmm. It's holistic. It's holistic. So right. it's mm -hmm. so much more than just gaining a degree. And I think throughout the levels from the bah Bahamas Academy all the way to NCU, those are the things that we focus on mm. building the whole person mm. you know how somebody speaks mm. how the, the the level of belief that you have in what god wants to do in you and through you mm -hmm. and when you couple that now with your training at school university mm -hmm. right what you'll find is when you go into the spaces of influence and you go into your industry whether it be education or health or business mm -hmm. you're not just going there as a professional mm. right. you're going there as somebody who is able to network well and work with other people mm -hmm. somebody who is confident and yeah. industrious and you work with integrity yeah so all of those things are things that are just wonderfully packaged Maurice. in the seventh day adventist christian <laughs> education approach and i i really love it and appreciate it wonderfully packaged and yes. an interesting thing you know is that you find that industry leaders today are coming to Northern Caribbean University. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Talk asking about it. us to, to give them people who, Mercy. because they want people of uh, integrity, yeah. people mm -hmm. who have a strong, good work ethic mm. to be a part of their, their, their organization. Mm -hmm. So that's most critical. And, right. and what we found too is, you know, um, some time ago, at, uh, when I shared with the, with the brethren in the Bahamas here, mm -hmm. I told them that God's way is the best way. Right. Mm -hmm. And what God tends to do is, when you work with him, he allows you to shine. Mm -hmm. Think about the book of Daniel. Mm -hmm. After the, the contest about, you know, the, the eating from the king's table and they stuck to their diet. You know, when they followed God's way, they came out shining. And that still happens. It always works. Hey, that's amazing. That is so true. Okay, so we're going to hop right back into yeah, that right that after this break. So our listeners, don't move. Don't touch the dial. We'll be right back. Hello, hello, Bahamas. I'm Carleen Barrett from Northern Caribbean University, Recruitment and Admissions Director. And you are listening to Word SBC 88.3. 
FM。Hey guys, welcome back to Young and Trending here on Word SBC eighty eight point three FM, where we always aim to be bold, be true, and be heard. I'm Tyler, and I'm Pasta Nasa. And in studio with us this evening, we have some very special guests all the way from Northern Caribbean University、yep. in Jamaica. And our topic that we were discussing is where learning never ends. We're、yeah. talking about Christian education.、Mm-hmm. Um, before the break, we were getting into why Christian education,、mm-hmm. and now I think we're going to shift and. Get into I think what a lot of people think of immediately. Let me not say that、um, when they think about maybe Seventh Day Adventist education、mm-hmm. or just Christian education in general,、um, they start to think of、mm, I don't know, and、That'll、they start think of weighing the pros and cons or like weighing you against other schools or things like that. So let's have a real talk now. What are some of the challenges that you feel? We may encounter when we、um, want to go to a Christian school. What are some of the challenges people may、mm-hmm. think they are going to encounter in going to a Christian school?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, one popular challenge that I often hear people complain about is, "Why do I have to do this Christian course? Because <laughs> it's only going to make my, my program take longer. <laughs>、yeah. It's not necessary. I don't need it for anything."、Uh-huh. <laughs> yes,、um, and. We do offer that at, at Northern Caribbean University,、mm-hmm. um, but why is it important?、Hmm. Because you are not just about making money.、Mm. Life is not just about the here and now.、Mm-hmm. Mm. There is a matter of life after death.、Mm. There's a possibility,、mm-hmm. and we owe it to ourselves to expose ourselves、mm. to that kind like of、word. knowledge. Yeah, I, yeah, I, like I need a word. Yeah. Yes. Expose. Yeah. So, so,、mm-hmm. so it's critical.、Mm-hmm. I, I think it's important. It's good that we learn these things because it really makes you a more rounded person, and you make a decision.、Mm-hmm. That will serve you well、mm-hmm. in the hereafter. Yeah,、mm-hmm. so、I, that's that's most critical.、Mm-hmm. That's one of the the the, the、okay. benefits, I believe,、okay. of doing that. That was good. And I another、um, con, not a con. What、Bro. am I saying? Another <laughs> <laughs> potential <laughs> yeah,、um, challenge, that challenge that people may have is they may say, "Oh well, I'm going to go to this other school because it has a bigger name and there's networking、mm-hmm. opportunities."、Um, but what do you guys have to say about that in terms of networking, job、mm-hmm. opportunities after school? Because I know you touched on that in our first segment where you said,、right. "No, people come to you guys、yeah. and recruit、yes. because these are the、Workers. type of people they want in their workforce." Right, right. One of the beautiful things is. NCU is part of a global network of Seventh Day Adventist y- universities.、Mm-hmm. Okay, and so we have students who even come to us to do like a pre-med degree, and then they transition to do medical、right. um, medicine elsewhere. elsewhere. Right. 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 So it's a beautiful network that we have.、Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the wonderful things too is what we are realizing is when we approach that values-based. Um, education.、Mm-hmm. We also challenge our students to be innovators as well.、Mm. So、mm-hmm. NCU might not have a big name in to certain people, right?、Mm-hmm. Right. But when you look at the facts, for example, the international business model competition,、oh, yeah. oh, the yeah. Microsoft. Yes. In twenty eighteen. Hey. In twenty eighteen. Hey. Northern Caribbean University students topped、mm-hmm. that competition, and when we're talking about the international business model competition, we're talking about a competition that has. Had even Ivy League colleges. Come on now, globally. Come on now. Should, I call, should I call names? <laughs> Come on now. Well, Let them know. Hey. Let them know. Hey. hey. So, so, know. so, 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 even when we approach that values-based education, right, there are rewards to it. So、mm. we might, in some people's minds, we might not have a big name、mm-hmm. per se. But when you partner with God, amazing things、Come、can happen.、Now. Amazing, hey, you can amazing. you can shine.、Come、you can on, shine, man. Don't、yeah. don't don't look down. No, no. You know, you, you know, Christian education. This、NCU、this in the building. This reminds me of Daniel and his companions in in Babylon. Okay,、mm-hmm. how after they went on their special diet, having you know. And after their training for three years,、mm-hmm. they were compared and tested. Yeah, right.、Mm-hmm. They were found. Come on, ten、yes. times brighter、mm-hmm. than their counterparts.、Mm-hmm. Hey, this is Northern Caribbean University. Hey, there are people. On,、yes. There are people. There are people who who downplay. Hey, that, that this is just a competition. 
But in actual hardcore business, what they talk about, competition. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. right, right. Yeah. Killing right. the competition. Mm-hmm. Right. We've been doing that. Mm-hmm. We have been doing that. Um, I hate to sound like I'm bragging. Come on. But it's the fact. It's a little bragging today. It is a fact. Right, right, right. We have been yeah. doing well. And not to our, our, our glory, mm-hmm. right. but to God's glory. Because yeah. yes. I believe that God's hand is on us. Amen. And we are destined for greater, greater, mm. yeah. greater yeah. things to happen. Wow. In the future. Wow. Absolutely. Yes. That's Come amazing, on. man. Tell them, don't, don't look down no. on oh, NCU, no. man. Oh, you know, no. we doing big things. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. Um, 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 another another potential, I guess, challenge that some folks may have is the the challenge of finance. Mm-hmm. How does NCU approach that compared to, like, you know, other schools and other, you know, avenues that they could take? Is, is NCU competitive in that aspect or... Oh, uh, what I was NCU as a Christian education tr- meeting that challenge. Oh, certainly we are. I mean, when you look on the tuition that is charged for a, a student in the CARICOM region, okay, mm-hmm. comparing that to, for example, the, the North American continent, mm. it's it's double, sometimes triple times what, what the university okay. is, is, is charging. Mm. Yeah, and you know, one of the great ways, and um, you know, Mr. Evans has benefited from this too, is mm-hmm. that we provide student employment opportunities yes Mm -hmm. so a student is while they are taking classes Mm -hmm. you're actually working on campus Mm. every single department on the campus facilitates student workers Mm. it could be the office of the president it Mm -hmm. could be recruitment and admissions Mm -hmm. it could be um security and, and risk management all departments and while the student is doing that you're able to contribute to your tuition. Mm -hmm. And even greater than that, too, you're you're gaining valuable work experience. Mm. So when you get into the working world, you're you're building soft skills that you will Mm. use uh, later on. Right. Yeah, so it's great. Mercy, mercy, man. Look at NCU, man. I mean, also, 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 um, (laughs) students who are paying their school fee are required to pay at least 50%. Okay. Okay. And then they can make arrangements to mm, pay the rest. Okay. Payment the plan. So 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 there's that kind of Grace. sensitivity. That's great. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Right. Right. You know, to the struggles that that people have. So we we try our best. We try mm. our best. Hey, for all our listeners out there, there is no excuse, <laughs> no reason, no talk. why you should. Uh, Pass and see you by mm. in the pursuit of developing yourself holistically because mm-hmm. they've covered all the bases. They have. You know, oh, I should tell you one more thing. Oh, tell us this more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because you see, Northern Caribbean University is owned by both um, the Atlantic Caribbean Union, yes. which, which which consists yes, yes. of the Bahamas, yes. mm-hmm. the, the Cayman Islands, <laughs> yes. the Turks and Caicos Islands, yes. right, uh, and Jamaica. <laughs> What? Yes. No, the fee structure applies equally to to all those constituents. Mm-hmm. You paying the yeah. same thing. The same, same thing. thing. It is quoted in US <laughs> because you don't earn right. Jamaican, Jamaican dollars, right? right. right. But it, the, it's equivalent to the Jamaican mm-hmm. rate that you get. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so because if you're a member of the church, mm-hmm. you basically own. That's why it is so. Competitive for you mm. to actually yeah. come to NCU. You co-own, so, yeah. Yeah, you mercy, co-own. Mercy, mercy. Yeah. So it makes a lot of sense. Wow, this is amazing. We are co-owners. Yes. So we pay the same thing. Same yes. thing, man. Local same rate. Thing. <laughs> Even though we're in a different country, man. This is yes. oh, this is exciting yes. stuff, yes. man. Hey, yes. you don't. You, Trust me, there's more. <laughs> so don't touch that dial. We're going to take a quick break. You're listening to Young and Trending here on Word SBC 88.3 FM. Living by the Word of God, I'm Carleen Berry from Northern Caribbean University, your recruitment officer. Keep your dials locked to Word SBC 88.3 FM. Welcome back to Young and Trending here on Word SBC 88.3 FM, where we aim to be bold, be true, and be heard. I'm Pastor Nasa. And I'm Tyler. And today we're talking about where learning never ends, Mm -hmm. Christian education. And we have some recruiters from Northern Caribbean Mm -hmm. University. Uh, 
Mr. Evans and Mr. Linton. And they are here today and they're discussing this important subject. And we've just been going down the values and the benefits of Christian education. And one of them being so close to us in Jamaica mm -hmm. called Northern Caribbean University. So um, 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 uh, I don't want to say it like that, but you... You, I don't want to say you wasn't blessed, but you, you didn't make it to answer you. Why it's okay. are you calling it's me okay. out like that? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, you know, I we, went to our we, sister we, school, Andrews true. University. And, and, and we pray so, for you. We pray for you, Dave. I got, I got the secondhand, you know, well, that's true, right? accounts and stories and, bl family. and blessings. That's true, that's true, that's right. Yeah. The, the generation to the third and fourth generation, I'm telling are, you. Come on now, so, so you, you're, you're blessed. <laughs> okay, you're blessed. But you, 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 had, you had a question because of... You know, from someone on the outside looking I in. I did. Yeah. So, um, me as an international student, although we're all Caribbean, what could I expect when I come to NCU in terms of student life or mm -hmm. just how it's going to be, the culture, activities on campus? Mm -hmm. Sell it to me. Hmm. Student life. Mm -hmm. So, you come to NCU. First of all, we have one of the things we try to do is that we try to make sure that you feel like a normal student. You don't stand out. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. you but feel we are. Apart. Yeah, you're a part of it. Mm -hmm. But 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 we have, for example, our International Students Association, a student club, mm -hmm. Mm. where you can combine with other international students, mm -hmm. probably from the Bahamas, like yourself, mm -hmm. or from any other of the, the territories mm -hmm. um, the in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. wider Caribbean, <laughs> and even further afield. <laughs> so that's there. Mm -hmm. Things that you can do. We have games like basketball, mm -hmm. badminton, mm -hmm. football, mm -hmm. okay. and the, we, we have teams mm -hmm. that, that you know are formed that Chisel. you can be a part of. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Do you want a pet? Do you want a pet? <laughs> got it, he got it. Bowman, okay? Ah. Bowman for you, ah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Bowman would have won more competitions. Oh, well, I think gotta go down, down by. Let's <laughs> yeah, not. Let's not. Not. <laughs> not. But yeah, so well. yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, so we we have a lot of sporting activities mm -hmm. that we have socials, amazing socials, mm -hmm. um, good, clean fun mm -hmm. that people can can engage mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that is is there. Uh, I say. For example, has regular trips, mm -hmm. um, church impacts, um, beach trips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So th there are things that you you can do mm -hmm. to to make life interesting beyond the academics mm -hmm. that you you engage in. A critical part also of the life on campus would be the the worship sessions. Mm -hmm. You have week of prayers. Mm -hmm. um, and those yeah. are, are really moving and and and, yeah. and impactful, mm -hmm. you know, for, for those who um, the music. I thought that was learning. You know about the right music. Oh, yeah. 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 He knows. Hey, hey, he knows. Because oh, yeah. oh. you, you, you sang on, on, on the high eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, um, and it's it's amazing, you know. The praise teams are always awesome, mm -hmm. um, and the, I remember Mrs. Barrett talking about last year when we had this praise team. Mm -hmm. They were good, and I wondered, I worried, are we going to be able to replace <laughs> these people <laughs> who yeah. have graduated? Uh -huh. Very soon, we did, but we have, <laughs> and we always do. It uh -huh. seems, yeah. you know. So, so that is a great part of the experience. Mm. Um, so there are so many things to do. You can't because one of the challenges that 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 students face is that they have to now balance um, their engagement mm -hmm. in ac extracurricular activities mm -hmm. with their academics. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, and, and so sometimes they actually have to cut back mm -hmm. on some of the things they can do. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Which is to say, the long and short of it is that yes, <laughs> life <laughs> is great. Mm -hmm. Okay, is great awesome. Edit. And you know what? You know what too. Um, there is a special blessing too for an international student because you are part of that ISA family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there are students there who, 
you are able to integrate with. Right. Mm-hmm. They're right. from the continent of Africa. They're from yeah. North America. Yeah. They're yeah. from mm-hmm. Europe. They're from the Caribbean islands. And it's just a beautiful blend. I might mm-hmm. I just say Come on. <laughs> that there is something special. There's a special vibration on the campus hey. when our Bahamian students hey. show I up. Was gonna <laughs> ask, what is I have to hey. say. Yes. I have to yes. say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they're always the strongest contingent of international students that mm-hmm. we have. And yes, they are. In fact, in fact, um, I say the, the the presidency. Wow. Since I joined the team, <laughs> I inherited a, a Bahamian president. Uh-huh. Yeah, come on. Followed by a, a non-Bahamian, but then followed by a Bahamian <laughs> again, and then changed again, and it's another Bahamian. Hey, yeah. So, so, so Bahamians have make our presence known and yeah. felt yes. on yes. campus. Yes. Can I okay. tell you? Can, can, can I? 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 <laughs> was blessed. Yes. Tell us. To be selected. <laughs> All right now. As one of those presidents. <laughs> yeah. ah, yes, and, yes, and, yes. And, and it was quite the experience, can I tell you, but to be uh, to have such diversity and such involvement, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, it was electrifying, you know, mm-hmm. to be a part of such a thriving body. And and, and what I love too, like you mentioned, mm-hmm. was the integration. Like mm-hmm. we we never felt a part of. We always felt like we were included yeah. in yeah. uh everything the NCU had to offer it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that made the experience even so much higher. And so all of that brought to mind this Bible passage mm-hmm. f- um, found in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, that says, The the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Mm-hmm. And so uh, you can't go wrong when you go God's way. Mm-hmm. Can't. You cannot fail once you decide to... Yep. Uh, go through the avenues that God has made available for yeah. you mm-hmm. because yeah. he is going to take care of all that you he need, will. Mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. so to choose Christian education, to choose a place like NCU mm-hmm. is only going to reap benefits. Yeah. And so for mm-hmm. any of our listeners out there, I want to tell you, I am a product, mm-hmm. proud product of NCU. Amen. And I want to testify that if you go to NCU or any Christian education, but NCU sets it close, uh, <laughs> you are able to reap the benefits oh, yeah. that's going to take care of you in this life and the life to come. Life to yeah, come. so if there are <laughs> any of our listeners out there who, hmm, this is tingling in the back of their mind now, and they're interested, very quickly, how can they get in contact with you or the recruitment team yes. at sure. NCU? Sure. Well, first of all, you can go to our website, www.ncu.edu.jm. Mm-hmm. You can also send us an email. You can email us at recruitment and admissions mm-hmm. at ncu.edu.jm mm-hmm. or you can go to our social media handles we're on instagram ncu underscore jamaica or if you go on facebook we're northern caribbean university we have lots of exciting content posted all the time you'll see our beacons you'll see our alumni you'll see our students you'll see fun things happening on the campus and it's all there nice. right and they could contact me whatsapp mm-hmm. um at 876-1876-484-0432. Repeat that for us. Okay. one 876 484 Yes. Right. You can WhatsApp me on, on that number, and I will certainly answer that question. Awesome, uh, awesome. Mm-hmm. We want to thank you, yep. Mr. Linton and Mr. Evans, for taking the time to be here today and to uh, share with us our pleasure. the benefits of Christian education. Yes, and to our listeners, thank you so much for joining us this evening. If you want to catch us right here on Weird SBC 88.3 FM, we air every Tuesday from 6 to 6.30 with reruns on Wednesdays and Fridays from 3.30 to 4. You can also catch us at SBC Media Network on Facebook and Instagram. But guys, we're now on YouTube mm-hmm. at South Bahamas Conference where you can watch our show. Leave, Leave your comments, comments yeah, down below. And we're also on Rev Channel 988. This has been an awesome conversation awesome. here today. Thank you guys so much again Pleasure. for agreeing to come down and Our sit pleasure. with Thank us. Mm-hmm. And we want to invite you back to listen back to the show. At our listeners, what am I saying? Yeah, I'm all over the place viewers. today. Yeah, all over the world. <laughs> but, but my name is Tyler. And I'm Pastor Nasa. And you've been listening to Young and Trending, where we always aim to be bold, be true, and be heard. We'll catch you next time. Peace.
Young and Trending was brought to you by the Bahamas Adventist Book and Nutrition Center, located on Tonic Williams Darling Highway.